Hi friend. Today we're going to look at this Leslie speaker cabinet. We're going to tear it apart. We're going to test it, make sure everything's working. And we're just going to see what it needs. It looks like it's in really good condition, but we're going to make sure. Another thing is we're going to go and look at all the projects that I've been letting lay dormant here. Um, I'm not going to buy anything else to work on or do until I get these projects done. So let's go over that today too. If that sounds good to you. Let's do it. Okay, obviously we have this Leslie speaker we're doing. This is going to be our first project. There was uh, two organs in the garage that were taking up tons of space. So I finally tore them apart and I, I actually burned most of the cabinet because it was just too heavy and there was too much stuff in there. The next project is going to be this PV Windsor. We're going to tear this apart. I'm just not happy with the uh, dynamics on it. It does a nice high gain sound, uh, but when you turn the volume down on your guitar, it doesn't clean up at all and it gets real raspy. Could be caps, could be tubes, could just be how it is. Uh, we may just modify it so it's something completely different. Uh, we still have the fender basement to take care of. It's not complete yet. Still got some work to do on that. And I got these two transformers. Uh, right after Classic Tone closed down, someone posted these on Facebook Marketplace and I snagged them up for real cheap. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a amplifier head with these. Probably something like a uh, Marshall 2204, I believe is the 50 watt version of the JCM 800, something like that. Uh, we're going to go from scratch. We're going to even build the chassis, I believe. So let's plan to do it. But first, let's go over this Leslie speaker. This is our first project we're taking care of. When I got this out of the organ, it was attached at these two brackets and there were screws that went in here. Uh, four screws and it slid right out. The top's up here and the bottom's here and when you take it out be very careful if you find one of these. I'm going to try to show this to you. Right here there's a little metal capsule right there and I believe it's mercury filled. The way it works it makes an electrical connection and allows that to spin. The, uh, the negatives connected back there and the positives on this tip right here. Um, it allows the speaker to spin without twisting these wires consistently. Uh, that would probably last about, what, four minutes before it broke if it didn't have that. When I took it out, there was a connector on here with these six connections. But I just snipped it off. Uh, the red and the black wire goes around there to the speaker on the capsule. And let's see. This set of wires goes to this motor and this set of wire goes to this motor. Uh, let's see this one. Let's turn it around. This bottom one is the slow motor. And this top one is the fast motor, I believe. And what we're going to have to do is hook these up and see if they're working properly. Okay, here's what I've got going on. I, I have my Variac plugged into the wall. Then I have my current limiter plugged into the Variac, which this is plugged into. So what we're going to do is clip these on. Make sure they stay apart from each other. And we're going to turn the Variac on. The current limiter is just in case we have a short circuit somewhere. Let's turn this on and turn it up. Let's see what happens. Nothing. 
current limiter is lighting up slightly. That may be, maybe there's a short or maybe it's just not able to start. Let's try this side with. Oh. All right. Now I know this is designed to go on its side. Let me turn this off before I change it in case that shorts. Let's try it like this. Now normally you don't want to put that on that capsule down there, but there is a cage around it to protect it. Let's see if it works better. Okay. All right, that is the slow speed. Let's see if the fast speed will work on its side. That could be what the issue is. All right. There it goes. Nice. Takes a nice long time to spin up to speed. That looks nice. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the slow speed. Let's see if we get it before it winds down. Ah, it even breaks it. <laughs> All right, let's turn this off. Um, when it was on its side, it was too much mass to get spinning, I guess, because it's balanced here. Uh, what we're going to do is catch all these points where there's rotation and get some deoxid in there. Now that fast speed, it is lighting up the uh, current limiter until it gets up to speed and then it fades to, to nothing. Can you see that in there? Can't see it. Ah, let me get this camera in view. See the current limiter there? Right there. See how it lights up? Oops, sorry. And then once, once it gets up to speed, it fades. So it draws a lot of current getting up to speed. Okay, there are a couple of bolts on here. Wing nuts, which you take off. One's back here. Let's put this on its side. We're going to take this off because a lot of times when you get one of these, the fast speed won't work at all because it takes so much current to get going. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make the adjustment. Take this, this belt off like that. And this just comes out. Okay. This right here, these two bolts adjust this spindle that goes on the wheel. And what you have to do is loosen one and tighten the other to make it go onto this wheel a little bit better. You see that in there? Or if it's too tight and it makes the slow speed go, uh, if it's too sluggish on the slow speed, that means this is too tight. And what you'll do is you'll tighten this one and loosen this one instead. What it does is it tilts this so that the spindle touches the wheel. 
Um, since it's doing well right now, we're just going to stick this back in. This little hook goes in here, like this. Maybe I can get it in there. And this goes like this. And you just put these wing nuts back on with the washers. And there's a little star washer on there too. But don't tighten them all the way yet. Because we got to tighten this belt. Uh, well, I should do the... All the spindles need to get cleaned up a little bit. There's some at the top and the bottom of each one. Right like that. And we're going to put this belt back on. And what we're going to do is pull this tight like, oh, like this. There we go. I scored that a little bit with the motor, didn't I? Gotta be more careful. There we go. And we're going to make sure that that's tightened properly by running that motor again. Let's do this again. Back to the top motor. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Let's get some lube in there. Make sure it's good. There we go. Nice. Okay, we're going to clip a cable to the wires of the speaker here. Now, I tested this for DC resistance and it was right around 6.5. So I figure that's close to what uh, 8 ohms impedance should be. So I imagine this is an 8 ohm speaker. I don't know how many watts it handles, but I do believe it was a 30 or 35 watt amplifier in the organ that it originally came in. So I'm not going to crank any volume into this. What we're going to do is make sure sound comes out of this speaker. Okay, we're going to do this upright. We're going to use two microphones. Uh, they're both Shure SM57s. Uh, let's hear how this speaker sounds first before we turn on the... <laughs> nice it's musical sounding uh it sounds good with guitar surprised let's get this spinning Very cool. All right, let's try that fast speed now.
Yeah, I think that sounded a lot better with the microphones farther away. I think what the secret on the organ that that came out of was that it had a speaker that was stationary along with the spinning speaker. So maybe we'll try to get it to work with the original speaker in the combo along with the spinning speaker and we'll get them mixed together and see how that sounds. It may be that we will want to keep the microphones closer for the spinning speaker and then blend it with the stationary speaker. We'll try it and see what works the best. Uh, what we have to work out is how we're going to build the cabinet around this. Uh, it basically has a cabinet now, but I'd like it to have a little more protection. So maybe we'll just put grill cloth around it and uh, protect that capsule at the bottom too. Then we have to figure out how to switch the electricity between the fast motor and the slow motor. Uh, probably end up using some kind of relay for that. Uh, that's coming up soon, but I definitely like the sound of it. Uh, in the room, it sounds very wide and big. Uh, I think uh, if you have a chance to pick up an organ with a little Leslie in it, then I think you should give it a try. Uh, but that's it for today. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.